Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I want to bring you another quick tips video on how to reduce the cooldown of your life cocoon from, I think it's a 78 second cooldown, a 1.3 minute cooldown, to about 55 to 57 second cooldown. I think the best I got was 55 seconds, and that is reducing it by, what, 21 to 23 seconds. Pretty much what you're trying to do is maximize your Heart of the Jade Servant buff. What this does is when you consume 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift, you call upon Yulon and decrease the cooldown time of your Renewing Mist, Rising Sun Kick, Life Cocoon, and Thunder Focus T by 75% for 8 seconds. And this is really important. I do want to note though, that if you do, if you do spec into Veil of Pride, th th it goes to 20 stacks. So that's the reason you'll see a lot of people, including myself, playing Shadow's Lessons is because 20 stacks of Shaylin's Gift is a lot. And then the other passive you want to look for is Unity Within. So when you channel Celestial Conduit, you can actually cancel it. You can keep channeling the heal, but you can cancel it and it, this will release all the celestials to assist you for 200 percent effectiveness so that means the cooldown rate on your renewing mist rising sun kick life cocoon and thunder focus t will the decrease the cooldown rate by 150 percent so you have 75 percent for eight seconds when you consume 10 stacks of shaylin's gift and then you have 150 percent cooldown uh decrease cooldown rate when you use unity within so i'll just show that so you can celestial conduit and then you can press again It'll keep channeling and it'll summon the Celestials. So you could see 150% cooldown uh, decrease of the cooldown time. All right, I have 10 stacks of Shane Loon's gift. So I'm just gonna press Life Cocoon and then show you what I've been doing to reduce the cooldown of it. Again, ideally you press Life Cocoon and then at some point during the cooldown, you press Celestial Conduit and then you have 10 stacks of Shane Loon's gift. You don't need to, or you probably shouldn't press it right away when you press Life Cocoon. So I'm gonna start the stopwatch when I press Life Cocoon. I start the stopwatch and then at some point during the cooldown, you'll press your Celestial Condor and cancel. So you get the 150% decreasing the cooldown time of your Life Cocoon, which is great. If there are kicks available, I'll port and Shaylin's Gift on myself after the Yulon goes away and I get 10 stacks, so I get this. If there aren't kicks available, you could probably just press it, but every, everybody has some kind of micro CC, some kind of way to stop it. So in 1.8 second cast is, a 1.6 second cast is a very long time. That, I've been using port, just using it myself if I have to, uh, just for the buff, but you could see that we're looking at like, it's looking like a 58 second cooldown on our life cocoon. So again, that's a 20 second cooldown reduction on our life cocoon, which are our major cooldown which is fantastic so you could see what are we getting at? about 58 maybe 59 let's see two one there we go 57 second cooldown and again i just want to hit home that you don't want to press life cocoon and then immediately press celestial conduit because that because celestial conduit is a good cooldown so at some point during life cocoon during life cocoon's cooldown you can press celestial conduit cancel it and then you get that cooling reduction from yulon and then hopefully you should have 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift because you get 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift every minute 10. So every 70 seconds. So you should, every other life cocoon, have a Celestial Conduit and 10 stacks of Shaylin's Gift, which would mean you have a 57, 58 second cooldown on life cocoon. There's really nothing else to it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have about this or anything else mystery related. So that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.